back in 2015 December, DJI bought out the latest software update, and that was for the Phantom 3. Uh, as you probably well know, I was moving out to Spain then, so I couldn't do the update until I was settled here in Spain near the end of January. I just want to show you this video to show you how simple it is just to follow the instructions and do the update. One thing I must stress is when you, once you've done the update, if you've got any spare batteries, you have to update those as well. Just go through the same procedure. It will come up onto the, the front of your screen saying it's, it's going to take another 30 minutes. It won't because you've already done the main update. It could probably take another five minutes. So, enjoy. I just want to show you how easy it is to upgrade your Phantom 3. Um, as you probably well know, if you follow my channel, you know I left the UK at the beginning of December. Um, this is the same time as they did an upgrade, which was the 1.3.50. Um, I don't have time to do that, so this is the first time I've got out my Phantom 3. I've managed to download the firmware on my Android, which is my Nexus 7. Um, and another thing that I've got a problem at the moment, I've got no internet here, so I'd go down to an internet cafe and sit there with a cup of tea and download the firmware. So, obviously all you do need you need your phone or your tablet with your firmware already uploaded onto it. You're going to need your power, your receiver. So, obviously, get out your phone. Remove the gimbal guard because your camera needs to move once it's on. So, you just move the gimbal guard. Let's put that there so you can see it, what's going on. Don't forget to put your fountain in there for your battery. Clicked in. So what you do, turn the receiver on. Power out your battery. Right. Okay. So... Receiver on. Phantom on. Welcome to your aircraft. Please complete the aircraft status before taking off. So what we do first, we go into our DJI Go app. And when you get the screen come up with your Phantom 3 on it, mine, obviously mine's a Phantom 3 standard it will come up with the upgrade on there so it's got update new firmware p3 standard 1.3.50 so press the button where it says update now on your screen and then you got another uh, message come up new firmware of the p3 standard is available so you press the blue bar which says start upgrade well it upgrades in process it, they said it takes about 30 minutes um, do not turn off the power and keep Wi-Fi connected so I could sit here for a half an hour I suppose <laughs> um, but I'm not anyway from what I can see of the upgrade, and what's good for me because it's, um, I'm in warm weather now, um, the new upgrade was mainly to do with um, low climate um, or for cold weather for your battery, and I believe also for the camera. But anyway, um, as you probably will already know with uh, uh, the Phantom Freeze, if you don't upgrade, or doing the updates then you won't be able to fly it anyway so you've got, you've got to go through this process so 7% at the moment so I'm just not going to bore you <laughs> for the next half an hour on uh, upgrading so 
I'll see you in a minute. Right, it says upgrade successful. You've got the latest version, so you just press the blue tab where it says finish. Please restart your aircraft and RC. So, what you do, just turn off the power on your Phantom. Turn off the receiver. Right, there's another announcement that's come up onto the Go app. It's about the Osmo. Well, I haven't got the Osmo, so I ain't got to worry about that. You just cross that off. So, you have to restart your Phantom. So, you put on the receiver first, put on the battery. Updates done. This video is about the Phantom Freeze. Yeah. 